Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This week has not been the best of my weeks. I've been having a lot of work and assignments to work on and it has taken me a lot of time. Before we continue with this video, I would like to urge you to at least watch it to the end so that you don't miss out on anything. So today let us discuss about emotions. We are usually advised to embrace only the positive emotions like being happy, laughing, smiling and so many others. But uh, I really have a different view on this because we are never told how to deal with the negative emotions. I want to bring a little bit of human physiology into this. Okay, how does our brain communicate to us? So most of the time, when our brain senses something, it will send a signal to our body to react. For example, when something is going to hit you, your brain will tell your body to move and you'll move. When something is going to fall on you, you'll run away. That is because you are reacting to what your brain has told you. When your blood sugar level goes down, your brain will always tell you that you're, hung you're hungry and definitely you look for food to fix the problem. But when we are sad because of an uncomfortable situation, we are usually advised to be happy and smile. Is that the right way to deal with that emotion? Okay. To other people, you'll seem happy and uh, you'll be smiling. But do you think you can lie to your body? Because if your body is feeling uncomfortable, it is feeling uncomfortable. And the only thing that can change that is you fixing the problem. That is the only thing that will change that emotion. If you feel angry, angry about something, that is what your body is feeling. However much you try to be happy and to smile to everybody out there, your body is not feeling that. It is just a pretentious uh, emotion. So you have to fix that problem first before you show it outside. So we have to embrace both positive and negative emotions. Why is it that when we feel hot, we usually find a way to fix the problem so that we can go back to functioning normally? Such that you find somebody going to a cool place or somebody taking a cold drink or somebody even loosening up. And we always have uh, maybe some appliances like a fan or AC to correct the, the problem. The same way, when we feel cold, we find a way of getting back to functioning normally. By going to a warm place, by taking some hot drinks by cuddling if we have an intimate partner around, by putting on some warm clothes. Why do you think we do that? We do that because we want to go back to normal. We want to function normally. That is the same technique we should be applying with our negative emotions. When we have negative emotions, we should try to fix them. Okay, how do we go about it? First and foremost, first recognize the emotion. Recognize that you're sad. Recognize that you are angry. After knowing that you are in that state, then find out the cause of the situation. What is making me angry? Who is making me angry? Huh? What is making me sad? After knowing the cause of that emotion, then you can try to fix it. There is no definite way of fixing emotion. Each and every emotion may require a different uh, process to fix it. For example, let me say that I'm angry and the cause of my anger is maybe a conductor who doesn't return my change. That is somebody I can cut off easily from my life because I won't encounter him anywhere. And I'll go back to my normal state of being happy. What if the cause of my anger is my hus husband? This is somebody I stay with in the same house. We sleep on the same bed. Yeah. And it will require even his input for this to go away. So it may take a lot of time, a longer time that, uh, uh, than I expect. But uh, the moment I recognize uh, my emotion and I know the, source, the cause of my emotion, and I start fixing that emotion, then I'll go back to my normal state because I'm already working on it. Why is fixing these emotions important? It is important because if we continue covering these emotions up, 
especially the negative emotions, it will reach a time when they'll explode. And when this happens, our reactions will be beyond our control. That is why you find somebody hurting him or herself or hurting somebody very close to them or getting deep into depression. It reaches a time whereby fixing the problem is beyond you. You need another person to help you out. That is why you find a lot of mental issues happening now, especially in this era, because we are used to covering up our emotions. We are working happy because we want to please people. We want to show that we are okay. It is okay not to be okay. Remember that it is okay not to be okay. When you're not okay, find a way to fix your problem. The people you're pleasing outside there won't be in your consultation, consultation room when you go for a counseling. So it is better to fix the problem when it is still growing. Don't cover up your emotions. Find the origin of those, uh, those emotions. Know the cause. Fix the problem. And you'll live a happy person because you won't be letting things build up on you. When you're living, you're not living for others. You're living for yourself. Your body wants to breathe. Your body wants to be uh, free. But if you continue piling things in it, it won't function well. And it will reach a point where it will be so deteriorated and you'll need a lot of investment to make it work again well. Let me use another example to make this sink deeper. Let us take, for example, an infant of uh, zero to six months. This is a child who is very helpless and is under, care, under the care of the mother. The child cannot communicate verbally to the mother. The child can only communicate through emotions. So the, it is up to the mother to understand these emotions so that she can be of help to the baby. When the baby is playing and laughing, the mother has no problem because she knows the child is okay. But when the baby cries, the mother will run to the baby to find out what is wrong with the baby. If she feels that the baby is hungry, then she'll feed the baby. If she has fed the baby and the baby is still crying, she'll maybe change the baby's clothes, assuming that the baby is uncomfortable because of maybe wet clothes or pampers. If that does not help, then the mother will run to the doctor to find out what is wrong with the baby. If the mother doesn't take action, if the mother assumes that the baby is okay, this may reach a point where she cannot handle. It will reach a point where everything will explode and the baby will be taken to the hospital and will be admitted. So it is up to the mother to understand the emotions of the child and also to react to the emotions of the child and fix them before it gets late. The same, same thing we should do with our emotions. Now it is us who are working on our emotions. We are not uh, dependent on other people to fix our emotions. We are adults, so we have to know what causes our emotions. We have to fix those causes here. Wow. I hope you've gained something. Thank you so much for watching my video up to the end. I really appreciate your support. If you've never subscribed, please subscribe. You can also share your feedback, share your comment, and you can suggest any topic that we can discuss and enlighten one another on. Thank you so much. Thank you. Much love. Comforts me always come when you are near.